What's up guys? It's me, it's Jacob McDonald. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And welcome to my vlog that I'm gonna to shoot today in a one, a one video format. I'm not gonna edit it, I'm not gonna do shit. I just wanna tell you exactly what it's been like. And it's been up and down. That's all I'm gonna say. Some of you who've been following along at home will know that I've attempted to quit a substance that I've been completely and utterly, not, not so much physically, but definitely psychologically addicted to for the last 14 years, and that's marijuana. The last smoke I had was Thursday night, two and a half weeks ago. Today's Monday. In fact, it's the 1st of, uh, first of March. So for anyone else out there, in different situations, good or bad, just know that we all go through shit. And we all have our own individual ways of getting through those things. Of putting a smile on your face even when you don't feel like it. And unfortunately that has been what I've had to do over the last few days. It's not easy. This is not easy. I was pretty damn positive in the last video that I, I had on this channel talking about Rockhampton. I made a video in the pool, I think, <laughs> at my Airbnb after being here for a week, talking about all the things that I wanted to do, talking about the boxing gym, talking about the, the regular gym, talking about the Rockhampton Wolverines football team, talking about skateboarding, talking about my kids, talking about how good everything was going. Everything's still the same. But my mindset isn't. I'm struggling. I am struggling. Uh, this is the bedroom that four of us sleep in. Um, this is Miffy, my ex-partner's Nana's house. I am so thankful to be living here, rent-free right now. Uh, I live. I, I moved out of my Airbnb. There are hardly any places here in Rockhampton available. If I want to stay anywhere, it's almost you know eighty to ninety to one hundred dollars a night minimum. That means that I'd be spending anywhere upwards of five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred bucks a week to stay somewhere. I decided on Friday last week to 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 leave the Airbnb. Uh, it came to an end after being here for two weeks, and I moved in here. Um, to the place that the girls live. Now, I came in here with the best of intentions. I came in here in the best of moods. But it's not been easy. It has not been easy. Now, I... <laughs> I don't mind sleeping on a single bed. I do not mind. We've got three spaces. The girls and Miffy sleep there. I sleep there. Life is okay. Life is good. I'm surrounded by people who are positive. I'm surrounded by people who smile, genuinely. But unfortunately, I'm not one of those people. Or at least not at the moment. So, okay. We had four modes of uh, exercise that I was focusing on in the last video. Skateboarding. Gym training, boxing gym, and football training. I am happy to say that I've done, I, I'm going to call it one and a half of those four. I went to the gym, I joined up, I haven't been yet. I have not gone to the Rockhampton Wolverines football training yet. I have taken my skateboard down to the skate park once but I haven't gone to the boxing gym and you know I'm here to just just be completely and utterly honest um, I'm here to give you guys an update because you have supported me uh, as my YouTube audience my YouTube subscribers throughout the years um, over and over and over again especially when I've needed it the most so I'm here to update you on what's been happening whether it be good or bad okay
I'm struggling. I'm not coping very well. I'm realizing the situation I'm in and I'm feeling pretty desperate. I should be living in my own place, but due to, you know, financial uh, constraints, I'm not able to. I went for a job interview. I thought, right, I'm going to give, I'm going to, I'm going to give it my absolute best shot to live here, be happy, get settled, be a dad. I mean, I can't even get back into New Zealand at the moment if I wanted to. So I went to my first job interview. It was an ideal job, absolutely ideal. A mixture of admin um, plus a bit of driving. And I walked in there with the best of intentions. In fact, I walked out with, with, with the best of intentions. Um, I basically secured the job, I mean, on the spot. All you gotta do, guys, and that, that's what I'll say, is that anyone else out there that, that's looking for a job feels, feels, uh, feels like their resumes aren't getting noticed, you know? They're just being put on the pile, on top of a, a massive pile of resumes. Get, go in there, you know, at least ring the place, introduce yourself, go in, ask for the manager, shake their hand, look them in the eye, and you've got a far better chance than a whole lot of other people. And that's exactly what I did. So I put myself in the best position to get a great job here in Rockhampton. But I walked out of there, and a massive dose of depression hit me. Depression and anxiety about being in this this place about possibly taking this job and and, and thinking and looking six months down the track and, and 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 not being any further forward mentally uh, than than I am now. Now, I'm going to say that I, 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 I say and I, I tend to live a life with no regrets. I could start that job. I could work five days a week. I could do 40, 45 hours a week. But I was completely and utterly underwhelmed. I'm in a mindset right now that is not the most positive. I'm in a mindset right now that needs needs a little help. I need to I need to talk to someone that understands. I feel like I feel like nobody nobody around me right now. Family, friends, anybody understands me. In fact, I felt that way back in Christchurch. Nobody understands me. But then again, do I even understand me? Do I? Who am I? What does make me happy? I've spent the last two years of my life through this YouTube channel, spending a lot of money, going all different places, trying all different things, looking for that happiness that we all want, that we all crave. And I'm not sure that I've found it. I thought being around my kids would be my magic ticket. I thought as soon as I saw those smiles on their faces, that unconditional love that I've received, holy shit, it's been amazing, it has been. I'm glad I'm here for that reason. But I don't know that I'm gonna be able to live here full time. I don't know that I'm going to be able to stay here. And what I'm going to do right now is sit on this swing with these, this incredible hill behind us actually. Grassy hill. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, if I was a kid back in the day I'd want to roll, tumble all, all the way down there. In fact, I don't know why I haven't brought my kids here. In fact, I don't know why I haven't done a lot of things yet. I'm in a bit of a rut. I've been here for just over two weeks. I've spent nearly every single day with my kids. I'm living with my kids right now. 
but I'm in some f some rut guys some fucking rut and it's gonna take it's gonna take every single ounce of, of mental strength I have to get myself out of that because some of you will know that I've, I've quit weed uh, but none of you will know that I've replaced that habit with something even worse, which is drinking. Now, I'm not getting drunk every night, I'm not blacking out, but, but I am having a few drinks. And, and the thing that I struggled with, with with the weed is not how it made me feel. It's not how, <laughs> you know, it portrayed me as a person. It's 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 internal it's it's the fact that I wanted to be in complete control of my mood and my life without having to rely on a substance so I'd hammered it into my brain that I needed to get off of the substance now I have realized guys that I am an addict full-on bro I'm a fucking addict and I've been one since 16 I'm trying to be the best person I can I'm trying to leave a mark on the world, a positive mark through my YouTube channel, but me personally, internally, I'm an addict. I'm not happy with life without a substance, and that's something I'm coming to terms with. So, the place is decent, but if you're not all, all good up there, then nothing is going to matter. And I went back to New Zealand a year ago to work on myself. Did I work on myself efficiently enough to, to, to be to be in a good enough uh, mindset to come over here and, and, and live a good life and be sober? No. No, I didn't, clearly. But I'm not making it that easy on myself to be living with my ex. And there is so much shit that's been said back and forth so much so many insults so so much abuse verbally and yes I do blame some things on her at times but at the end of the day I'm the one to blame I can't handle life very easily on my own and I'm finding it especially hard being here in Rockhampton with no family, no friends. Thinking, yeah, of course I can I can come here, I can join a sports team, meet mates there, I can join a gym and, and meet mates there, but at the end of the day, I don't even want to right now. I don't even want to. I don't want to go down to the Rockhampton Wolverines football training. I don't want to go to the gym. I don't I'm not motivated. I am feeling completely and utterly flat just flat I need to sort that shit out so I'm not sure what the best way forward is but what I do think is that I, I, I'm gonna do something that I've never ever done before and that is talk to someone I need to talk to someone and anyone else out there struggling in life if you know especially as a man as a male just talk to someone I can't talk to anybody around me right now I'm feeling completely and utterly uh, alone even though I'm not and that's a that's a desperate feeling and and I've even thought guys some pretty stupid thoughts recently and that's all I'm gonna say on that subject so what I realize now more so than ever is that I do need to talk to someone I need to talk to someone that's heard this all before you know what I mean you've heard it all before give me some good advice I'm not gonna ask you guys to give me advice I'm just trying to be completely open and honest in an un, you know un uncut unedited clip which is what this is. We're 15 minutes in. You know what, there's one thing and one thing only that I've wanted to do ever since coming here, ever since rolling into this road for the very first time and going down there to the house that I'm living in right now and seeing my kids and, and that is to train with some hill sprints. Now, literally, two minutes round the road, we've got the most incredible place for me to do hill sprints. This has to be the steepest hill in all of Rockhampton, and it's right round the road from me. So, 
I'm not going to commit to going to football trainings anymore. I'm not going to commit to going to boxing trainings anymore. I'm not even going to commit to going to the gym. But there is one thing that I am going to commit to. And that is to come out here. Look, I want to say every single day, but I, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. All I need to do is come out here one morning. I mean, the weather doesn't make it that easy. It's fucking humid. But let me just show you guys this road. Let me just show you guys this hill. Because it is quite the hill. And if I can get efficient and good at running up a hill like that, I can do anything physically. Now it's not going to look like much, but that is so fucking steep, it's unbelievable. So if anything guys, just know, I'm not going to make any crazy claims anymore. I just want to do life as best I can, in the best mood I can, and what I know is going to improve my mood and, and going to allow me to do that is to do some exercise. and. You know, going into a new environment, a new team environment, like a, a, a football team is something I know I'd enjoy, but I just can't, I can't bring myself to do it right now. I hope you guys understand that. I hope you do. I'm trying to understand it myself. I will get there. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Look, I tell myself I want to play football. Do I? Don't I? I don't know. But what I do want to do is get fit, treat my body with the respect it deserves and start running up that fucking hill so that's what's going to happen I've said it here I've said it now the only thing I'm going to commit to physically is getting back into a bit of running and, and, and the running I'm going to do is up that hill now once I start doing that I might actually feel like going to the gym I have a membership now I've, uh, I've joined up to World Gym here in Rockhampton it's a pretty sick gym uh, I've got some wheels, I've got a scooter, you know, I've got access to Miffy's car if I need it. I do have everything I need in life here, and I'm not even paying any rent right now. So, you know, it's videos like this that, that do help the most. It's videos like this that help me talk it out for a start, like I've mentioned in the past. Um, then go and edit the video a second time so I can, I can listen through what I've, what I've said. You know, work through things again. And, uh, and then I go and publish the video and, and watch it possibly for a third time. And that's, that's almost like my own, you know, therapy. It's my own way of talking through things. But it's not sufficient anymore. And, and I do need to talk to someone. I do need to talk to someone um, about life. About... Yeah. About... what this is and this is life for me right now I'm in Rockhampton I dropped my kids off to <laughs> to uh, you know a bit of positivity guys I, I did drop my my two kids off to daycare this morning and they cry their eyes out every single time you leave and you know that that desperate that that that, that look of absolute you know horror and desperation of, of Tate and Tristan as you leave and God it just pulls at your heartstrings you know and, and that, it's, it's at those times that you realize I am alive and life life is real you know what I mean ah this is life this is me we're in Rockhampton I've been here for two weeks this is my update and I hope you enjoyed it's up and down at the moment, but it's, fu it's, it's funny, you know, by the time that I finish each and every one of these videos talking things out, I feel a lot more positive and I do feel positive. So what I'm going to say guys is I want you guys to, to stay positive, whatever situation you're in at the moment. I feel like we have a lot of freedom here in, uh, in Australia and also in New Zealand. Uh, I was, you know, I put up a video not too long ago talking about how lucky I felt um, getting into this country quarantine free and I'll tell you what mate I'm even more lucky now far more lucky Auckland following that video has gone into another three-day lockdown 
and now gone into another seven day lockdown. Not only that, but Bris uh, Queensland, the state that I'm in right now, has a 14 day quarantine period mandatory right now. So, <laughs> you know, on both sides, it's all fucked up again. And I was one of the lucky ones that got through quarantine free. All I had to do was wear a mask. And uh, looking back now, you know, I wasn't the happiest about wearing a mask, but holy shit, if that's all you have to do to get into a country quarantine free, I'll do it. And I know you guys would too. So what the future holds at the moment is me trying to put a smile on my face because my kids deserve that. I'm trying, I'm trying my best, but sometimes it's just hard. So for anyone who is still here, for anyone who has listened to all of this, and for anyone that is possibly in their own situations that, you know, they're working through, for anyone that does support me in my situation, I wanna say thank you so much. And uh, it's time I go. Uh, this is Monday, the 1st of March, 2021. And I wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you for listening and peace out.